Um, gonna be reviewing some horror comics today. Haven't made a video in like five years, but uh, I kind of lost interest. I had a laptop and a webcam and I never could get the audio sync right, but now my daughters have an iPad, so I'm gonna try experimenting with videos again and see how this goes. Uh, if it works out, hopefully I can just keep rolling with these things. Um, so for uh, this test video, I'm really not uh, going to review any horror comics. I'm just going to um, sort of do an homage to uh, Bernie Wrightson. Um, if you don't know who Bernie Wrightson is, uh, you're obviously not a horror comics fan. What are you doing watching this video? Anyway, the greatest horror comic artist, uh, at least living right now, in my opinion. Um, and I just got the opportunity over the summer uh, in Indianapolis. I, I live in Cincinnati. Made the trek out to Indy uh, to meet Bernie. If you don't know, Bernie has cancer. He's been fighting it for a while. Um, so his uh, health is, you know, not the greatest. So he makes very limited uh, con appearances right now. Um, but uh, in addition to just being the bar for all horror comic artists, Bernie is just an all-around nice guy. Um, he doesn't charge you an arm and a leg for an autograph, uh, like so many other artists who can't even, you know, hold his ink brush. All right, um, he charges like a dollar a signature. It's amazing. He's, he's just a great guy. He cares about the fans where a lot of these artists, they, they don't care about the fans. They just want to make some quick bank. And, you know, they think they're just the greatest thing ever. Anyways, that's a whole other ballgame. So, about Bernie. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you uh, some of the things I got uh, signed by Bernie. Um, not really comics. Uh, that's I'll save that for another video. Um but these are more like off-size sort of things, oversized. Uh, let's see, let's start off then with the uh, Cycle of the Werewolf, uh, Stephen King novella. If you uh, have seen the movie Silver Bullet, this is what uh, you know that was based on. And Wrightson has you know, some really great art in here. It's got black and white and also color, you know, really nobody draws werewolves like Wrightson. Um, well, nobody really draws anything like Wrightson, to be honest. And then we have uh, from Dark Horse, it's hardback, uh, Doc Macabre that he did with uh, Steve Niles. Niles is a pretty prolific uh, horror comics author these days. Um, but this... Uh, you know, if you haven't checked this out, you need to. Um, a lot of people that I've talked to really are just familiar with Bernie and his stuff from the 70s. And um, the stuff in here is amazing. It's great line work, as always. I mean, you wouldn't expect any less from Wrightson. Storyline's not too bad either. Then uh, this is awesome. Hardback uh, freak show that he did uh, with uh, Bruce Jones. Um, Jones and Wrightson, what a team, man. Bruce Jones is a top-notch horror author. Just uh, writes great stuff. I wish he did more these days. Um, but this is, uh, you know, kind of harkens back to their heyday. I forget where this was originally published. Um, but man, it is just the epitome, really, of, of Wrightson. The black and white work, you know, the line work is amazing. <laughs> You'll probably hear me say that over and over. Sorry if I'm repetitive. And here he signed uh, Creepy, number nine, which um, has his first published uh, work, to my knowledge. Um, it's in the fan page section. Um, just one little illustration. I think he did it when he was like 16 or 17 years old. And uh, Web of Horror. This is uh, number three. He did the cover. Web of Horror, 
amazing magazine. Only lasted three issues. He did this in collaboration with, uh, you know, like Jeff Jones, Bruce Jones. Um, these guys were trying to get something together with this uh, publisher <clears throat> who, uh, you know, basically wanted to compete with uh, Warren and Skywald. But um, basically, <laughs> they went to turn in art, I think, for issue four or something. And the, just the office was abandoned. Um, the publisher just up and quit like a fly-by-night thing. And here is a Rockets Blast Comics Collector with an awesome rights and cover. Check that out. That's just amazing. Typical rights and. And some more Stephen King collaboration. If you've seen Creep Show, then you should check out the graphic novel, the comic adaptation, so to speak. Um, Bernie did the entire book. Um, adapted all the stories and uh, you know by his own admission I think he did the whole thing in like a month okay but still it's really good but um if I'm not mistaken I've heard Bernie say if he had to do it all over again he would have liked to have had more time to work on this uh, you know but it is what it is still awesome and then I got him to sign uh, <laughs> what he is probably known for the most in uh, horror comics um, is uh, his adaptation of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein I got two different uh, presses here's this one here this is by um, gosh, Arthur Miller or something like that Underwood, Underwood Miller, out of Pennsylvania. Um, but, you know, this is Wrightson's, like, tour de force of line work. I mean, you know, look at this. All right, if you're going to buy one thing of Bernie Wrightson, it needs to be his adaptation of Frankenstein. It's the most amazing work in my opinion, that uh, you'll ever see. Um, you know, words can't even describe. Just look how detailed that is. The feathering. Uh, you know, he's really known for his cross hatching and simply kick ass. And here was the uh, Marvel edition I got him to sign. This one's a little bit more beat up. Um, <clears throat> but who cares? I got it on eBay for super cheap. Anyway, that kind of wraps up my, uh, basically what, what amounts to a test video. Um, Hopefully these cats in the background aren't uh, distracting me too much from all this rice and awesomeness. So anyways, if this works out, expect more. Thanks for watching.